Welcome everyone, KD here, and today with another stream, of course. Um, Welcome everyone. And I'm sorry, I always forget this. But it's off. <clears throat> so, should I show you what I did yesterday? Maybe just to recap a little bit here. Um, so yesterday I worked with the animation, um, and I realized kind of that. I Put too much time into the animation so i'm not the animation guy let's say it like this i'm still learning to do animations and so on uh, but what i did is kind of set up prototype animations uh, so we can so at least for one attack i have a complete animation cycle and you will see kind of that was okay for the timing so one thing I did is kind of changed the attack. You see how he switches the hammer. Um, I had a little problem. I wanted to animate this that the hammer turns, and I still will do this for the main game. For but for the demo, I will keep it like this. Uh, that just the hammer switches like this, um, and then for the main game, he will turn the hammer. So we will see it. So uh, it's possible, but I had to do. If I wanted to do it, I had to do too much changes. Um, what means I had to add uh, extra bone for the armature, and that's what I will do for the main game. Uh, extra bone for the uh, weapon, so I can animate the weapon. Um, I also had a little bit problem that if you have such a long weapon, then you have this power to really be really, really flexible with your grip where you hold your weapon so you can keep the hold the weapon very short uh, very close to the head so you can put more power into it but you can also go really back um back so have, you have more reach and things like that so and while animating it, I realized kind of like, yeah, I, this flexibility I don't really have. Because right now, um, the hammer is just really fixed um, on the right hand. And the right hand position I can't change. Because I fixed it on the right hand. So with an extra bone, when I put the extra bone on it, um, then what I can do is kind of... Um, uh, change, change yourself, uh, turn the hammer and things like that. So that's what I want to say. But anyway, so you will now see um, that I made the attack. However, um, you will see he the animation is far from finished. He doesn't walk or run to the enemy. He just kind of hovers over the ground and goes to the enemy so let's look at we see back hits it we see i have to change this maybe and what i also did is the attack for the enemy you see now enemy comes closer sack bites me and you see also the timing the whole timing uh, everything with Yeah, that's what I did yesterday in a five hour stream. It doesn't seem like five hours, and that's because I put so much uh, energy into the animation. Um, like I said, I'm not the animation guy. I'm, up, um, I know how to create animations and so on, um, but I'm not professional or anything like that. So it takes me a lot of time to put something to decent together and I have kinda even if I know yeah this doesn't have to be perfect right now I'm still kinda like oh this detail this detail this detail and I just lose me lose myself too fast into uh the whole into the whole process you know and instead of just doing an animation that is for like you saw uh to get the timing right um I I already went too far with the animation, and of course I mean f even for the demo version, um, the 
animations have to look kind of decent. They have don't have to be finished, but and that means I have to do uh, more the animations. I of course have to add stuff and make it them look better and things like that. Don't have to look perfect, like I said, but um, at least look better. So I mean, I don't want to for the demo version that he hovers to the enemy and stuff like that. So should be kind of running or anything like that. Um, yeah, anyway, the problem is just, um, I mean, if I will concentrate on animations uh, that are now more complicated and really doing this attack animate, they seem simple, but they getting from the hand positions and everything, it gets complicated very fast. Um, because there's so much turning and swinging with the hands and so on um, that it gets really complicated very fast. Um, anyway, so doing like uh, this animations, it would probably take me five hours, uh, one stream of five hours to do one, or, uh, maybe not one, but two or three animations, and then we get nowhere. Um, so I kind of want to do the, re the rest of the animations, maybe not everything, but the rest, of, let's say part of, or maybe let's say at least uh, having the main structures of these animations kind of like done that will be featured in the demo, um, kind of having a main structure of it so I can just go for the finishing touch on a live stream or anything like that um, just because it takes me so much time um, the question is just if I find the time besides these live streams and everything to do so uh, that's always so at least I decide for now not because I have the timing done to not to go f uh, for a moment to leave the animations kind of to the side and when I find time then I will work on them um, outside of the stream and then maybe when we go cl come closer to the release of the demo but still is maybe a little bit far away uh, and I see yeah the, I, the animations I have to push them then maybe I will put them I will make a live stream about uh, creating the animations um, so but right, like I said we have the timing done um, the other abilities, they will have the same, kind of same timing. So what it is now is one attack is five seconds uh, and the complete thing. Going forward, the attack and moving backwards is five seconds. And I think five seconds is, should be fine. In fact, it's possible that there will be some super special attacks that maybe are a little bit longer animated, uh, so they look a little bit more spectacular. That's possible, but I think for the general attacks, five seconds should be fine. Um, though the problem is if you make them too long, the, um, the however amazing they look, um, if you see the same animation over and over and over again, um, the player will get boring bored by it um, so I kind of want at least the normal attacks and so I kind of want to, to keep them, the animations in a reasonable time span and I think five seconds should be should be okay yes so what what else is it, the problem is right now uh, what I didn't really think about was that the uh, animations are now uh, at the moment on 30 FPS. So that's something I probably have to change because when some people hear a PC game with 30 FPS, then they go crazy. Um, so I don't think about this because I... Yeah, FPS is not something that's, that I care too much. To be honest, <clears throat> I'm an old guy. Um, I'm used to 
play games with low FPS. Um, I play a lot of console, to be honest, and uh, and so on. And I I played on al almost every old consoles, and I had my fun even with low FPS. And yeah, so from that's why I forget forgot it. But of course. I kind of feel like um, I definitely should at least go for 60 FPS and not for 30. Um, yeah, and I have to see what exactly I have to change to do to achieve this. But anyway, let's let's move on from the animation. So another thing, <clears throat> um, another thing that maybe that I kind of wanted to do soon was stocking up with the uh, with play characters and with enemies so adding new enemies and play characters so first I was kind of like yeah let's already add the second character so the mesh for the demo for the second character is done he misses almost all the textures however textures are not done um, so um except for the face textures because he has the same head I just uh, same head like the first character I recycled there uh, that a little bit so I kind of want to change a little bit uh, the mesh um, change a little bit the skin color and the eye color to look make him look a little bit different um but then for his clothes and everything like that I didn't do any any textures so far uh, that's not really the problem but uh, what, what I also don't have is any I mean I start to set up the um, his variables his attribute levels and things like that I and his attacks and so I start to set it up but to really finish this setup um, it takes me a little bit more time and that's maybe again something that is more for outside of the stream or maybe a smaller stream than a longer stream um, and so on so kind of but what I can do is just take the same I the first test I can just take the same character the same states and things like that the same animations and I mean and this shouldn't be a problem it, um, it should work uh, if it works with this character, it will then also work with another character, so I can just do that. So the problem now is why I don't want to do this right now. <coughs> um, no, here, come up here. Is that when we have here the combat player one, we are still a couple of stuff missing. Um, So I want to complete the combat player one as much as possible before going to the next, uh, before adding more characters, just because I will simply uh, copy paste this and use this format I built here um, as player two and player three, and if I have as much done as possible for that then it will be uh, gives me a lot less work than for day 23 so I can't so it won't happen that I can do it a hundred percent I guess that's he yeah, actually I have to see actually I always can kind of make new duplicates when I change something and then just replace them so maybe I overthink this a little bit however um, so maybe I can do maybe I will even do this today um, when I, just when I think about it I mean yeah now I think uh, I talk loudly to myself and think about it it's kind of like it's not a lot of work to just uh, press the right mouse button here and say duplicate and then 
delete the other one and say yeah replace it with the new one replace everything with the new one so actually now when i say it, um, it this is something we can do soon um and maybe even today um kind of depends the other thing i wanted to do today and i quote the stream like this so that's why now even if i think about it maybe i want to do this is the uh come at results uh the results to add the results what does that mean when when you defeat the enemy all the enemies um then what happens next so normally in the game you so normally in the game what uh what i think to do is kind of have i'm not 100 percent sure how i want to do it it probably will have two screens and then in the normal game we will jump back to the world map or go or if you had to, fighting a boss or anything like that then we get to a cutscene or anything like that um here what i don't want to do is already today to say what happens next because that's something that's then for the demo version what we do will do is jump directly into the progression system that can be on Related manually, that is um, learning new skills, improving your equipment, crafting new equipment, and things like that. Uh, that's what you can do in the game only on special uh, on special locations, um, and not everywhere and everywhere. <clears throat> However, in the demo, we will it's just fighting, and then we go to the progression system then we go back to fighting progression system and so so that's the cycle of the demo because there won't be any world map or anything in the demo <clears throat> um so yeah so that's the idea what i want actually to do today and now i'm thinking about doing the more crafters but maybe maybe we come back to this today um because that's also something we have to set up on in the combat player so having this is definitely fine so what i was thinking about is like when the enemy is defeated then there will probably be some kind of animation there will probably be some kind of death animation for the enemy uh, what happens then is we change the look um, when we and we just change it i will show it so let's say the enemy is defeated um, Probably we have to wait. I have to put up because I changed this animation. I have to bring up some of the. So what will happen is we jump here. Uh, we take the player one and we see the front of him. Instead of having this uh, selection here, um, we will have the results. Uh, the result specific for this character and then we will probably see some kind of you know victory pose or anything like that uh what we then have if we have more than one character so we have a second and a third character we will then have on the report itself a different interface a very simple interface with three buttons one button on the right side uh that is kind of arrow and one another arrow on the left side and then you can switch between the characters so the result screen we see here is um, specific for player one and then we have probably another button that says um, uh, that's kind of the kind that says continue or anything like that and then there will be probably i don't know maybe i can bring this somewhere in here uh, maybe I I will do a multi-layer uh, interface so that you can open more information if you want to. I don't know, but what I need also need is kind of this more general informations like what did you loot? Uh, the loot like did you you probably will get some amount of money out of the uh, the fight you. You will probably get also an, uh, an item or anything like that. 
uh, and I guess this will be maybe a separate screen. I'm not too sure yet how exactly I want to do this. Uh, it kind of depends on how much information there is in um, and how much space I will need here. Uh, so, the, so maybe I can kind of yeah the loot uh, kind of bring bring it somewhere in here without uh, just as information on every character or as extra window maybe down below. Or even maybe on the top uh, with the con on the same uh, same uh, widget that is the continue button. Maybe it's in our face. How much gold you got, and you looted this and this item. It really depends on how much information will there be, and I'm not 100% sure about how. So right now, um, it's definitely just loot and money what I think about so that's something I think but that's kind of almost the next step we maybe want to do t today um, if we do this so what I want think about is what will I give this guy what information do I want to give the player at the end of the combat and there are different information that I can give. Uh, one that is that I will definitely give is how much experience points um, you gained from this combat. So I said it before, the experience point, there will be not a conventional, um, a classic, let's not say conventional, that's maybe the wrong, a classical level system with like you gain experience points and if you gain enough experience points you jump up a level or anything like that. That's not what's happening. What happens is you get experience points and you can reinvest these experience points into two different things and you will see what these things are in the when I when I set up the progression system. And that's another thing and because it's, at the moment everything is kind of connected so maybe with the progression system when I build up the progression system I maybe see better what information we need here but that's definitely one we need is how much experience points we get and that's definitely one thing we have to set up and how much experience points you get is if you take the, all the attribute levels of the enemy you defeat it um and kind of add them together that's the amount of experience points you will get that means because this is kind of random uh not completely random but a little bit random you will always get a little bit a different amount of experience points uh that's only for the one enemies you defeated for the ones that you didn't defeat because uh, as example another player defeated him so every player will get a different amount of experience point depending on how much enemies you have defeated um he he will only get a certain uh maybe 50 percent of uh of the, the amount of exper uh, experience points uh it doesn't matter i don't think i will do like yeah you did 30 percent of damage so you will get 30 percent of experience points or anything like that it will probably be too complicated uh, and things like that. Uh, also, because you can do use maybe use skills that didn't do a lot of health damage, but they're pretty helpful to defeat the enemy. So it wouldn't be fair to just go for something like that. So uh, there will be probably a fixed number, like I said, fifty percent. Um, that's something I have to find out. Um, maybe with the help of the demo um yeah anyway so you will get 50 percent or maybe it is like the enemy is run away or anything like that um and then i have to think about what will i do will i even give experience points what will exactly happen if the enemy runs away uh but that's uh, again not just something for today that's not something that probably will happen in the demo version that the enemy will run away 
uh, in the demo version you will defeat the enemy or you will lose the fight <coughs> uh, and maybe uh, and losing the fight um, yeah we will see if we do something about this today anyway um, so that's one thing uh, we can do or I will do is the experience points the second thing that I probably will do is how much um, attribute levels you gain through the combat because it can get really fast um, you see when I attack or when I get attacked there's a possibility to gain um, to gain some attribute levels so it would be kind of nice to have a summary at the end uh, how much attribute levels I have so the problem here is you have 27 attributes that's a lot to put in one screen 27 so the question is can I somehow uh, make it work that we only see the ones that are affected um, and the ones you didn't gain anything you won't see and how exactly do I want to do the, what do I want to do uh, before and then after or do I just want to do kind of plus five or something like that or how much information I want to give I'm not sure about that yet and then there is a third thing and that's do I want to also show if I leveled up an attack do I also want to show this in here Because when you level up an attack, then um, then it will improve different um, variables of this attack, so damage and things like that, and maybe the, uh, this information. Uh, the player has to some at some point he has to get to this information. Is the result screen the right thing for that? I'm not sure. Um, Maybe I will do a like a notification in the middle of the fight. Hey, you, your attack leveled up. And then if the player wants to, he can go look at what exactly changed. And then we don't have this in here. And then it gets a little bit more complicated. Is Um, there are a couple of stuff, kind of, couple of st stuff that that affect the progression, the growth of your character. Um, a little bit depending on what enemies you defeat, um, how you defeat them, if you destroy equipments of them, and things like that. So there is something like a chop level. A chop level, a uh, chop is something that is only specific for this one character. And in this, do um, to level up this chop, you have to do um, chop specific tasks. And these task tasks could be if defeat ten, ten times. <clears throat> This type of enemy it, uh, destroy ten times equipment or armor um, with this and this weapon. Do this and things like that. So, but it's not only combat; it's also stuff in the world. Um, I mean, I don't want to go too much into this. And then you can, like I said, and if you do these tasks, um, you can level up your job level by investing experience points and then this will character specific giving some buffs uh, very character spe specific so it's of course kind of interesting to uh, try to uh, fin finish these little tasks if you want to improve your characters a little bit more um, So instead of just uh, defeating the enemy as fast as possible to maybe 
look at the job, job quests and so on. And that's another question, do I... <coughs> I mean, there's definitely in the pro when we go to the progression screens where we can choose the when we, where we can change a little bit the characters attributes and things like that. We, there we can definitely show um, what and how much tasks you have finished and things like that. Um, The question is, if something happens here, do I also again want to show it here in the results screen, or do I want to have a little pop-up that shows, hey, you finished this task, or hey, you, or not even only you finished this task, but you also, hey, um, this task, uh, you gain one point for this task, you need. You did five of ten. You still need five, so kind of. But you kind of went from four to five. Uh, I hope you know what I mean. So I guess this is also not needed in the results screen. So I'm sorry. I'm kind of. I'm sorry. This is maybe not that interesting for you guys, but I'm kind of trying to figure out what what do I wanna have in here. And then there is another thing that is kind of. That is that will affect the party, not the one character. And that would be then maybe something again that could be added to um, to the loot screen. And that's kind of like also a little bit in the direction of tasks, but more kind of like. Um, not that specific. Um, so the idea is kind of if you kill uh, as as more um, sandworms you kill, as example, um, as as more as of this enemy types you kill, um, your party will get uh, some buffs that uh, that kind of will help because. Uh, think about it like this, if you fight an enemy a lot of times you will kind of learn how these enemies act and so on and what can they do and what can they don't do. So if you could get a little bit buffs, um, this buffs will be in generally your party does more damage to this enemy. His buffs could be um, you get better loot when you defeat them, or there's a bigger chance to get a specific item from them um, if you level up this part. So this is kind of yeah, a little bit a grind, but again, this is just um, this is not all I say here. Um, it's not recommended to go further. Um, this is not anthem. Uh, I'm don't don't doing side quests, fetch quests as main quests. Um, this is just some side content, so you can kind of a little bit grind this stuff a little bit more, so you will be in future better against these enemy types. You can, um, so it will be easier for you to loot items that you then can reinvest in your characters. Um, in yeah, equipment and things like that. Um, and these are different things, um, like defeat a sandworm ten times. Um, then there is this possibility um, to to uh, the sandworm has kind of free teeth, uh, uh, which he uh, grabs the enemy and stuff like that. Um, And the, you can attack specific this teeth, that's kind of the hit point we have with the armor. I maybe will show you in a moment. So let's say um, you destroy 10 times this teeth, then you get a different buff. Or you, you damage um, 
the sand room for 1000 health and things like that just a different kind of stuff and they will all let's say you defeated 10 enemies then the general damage your party does against the sandworm goes up by plus one something like that if you destroy 10 teeth then you get the chance to loot more items or there's a higher chance to loot items um, or you loot a different kind you have the chance to loot a different kind of items that are maybe more worth than the one you did before and let's say you do 1000 damage um, then what else can, can we say you take in general less damage uh, anything like this so you see this is of course not this is a lot of these things are just ideas I throw out there uh, at the moment but probably most of them come in some way will be part of the game and the demo version will be probably also have already to, to a certain degree this stuff so I can kind of see does this work or and things like that so a little bit the problem is I mean there, there's so much to the progression system but it's pretty cool um, at least from I think it's pretty cool because I absolutely enjoy this stuff and but you may be already realized uh, without me saying this um, the problem is really as more stuff we have that kind of affect the players uh, the players how they how effective they are etc like this um, as more difficult it will be to balance the game um, The danger is just that your characters will be too overpowered too fast. Um, what, is, may, what is maybe a problem or it's not a problem. Um, I like to play RPGs like this. I like to be always on a high, high level. Um, I like to take my time grinding fighting a lot of monsters so I'm always a little bit at least a little bit uh, on a higher level than the enemies I'm uh, fighting so I don't have too much problems to defeat them and also when I come to the boss that he won't be uh, too big of a challenge or anything that's kind of my place then. For others that's maybe too boring they maybe like to be to have more challenge and um, of course, I kind of want to make the game interesting for both types of players. So for the ones that just that more want to rush truth, that don't grind too much, it has to work for them. That they that is it's maybe more challenging, but it's not impossible. Um, and for the ones that want to do a little bit more grinding and so on. Um, so, yeah, maybe for these people it's not that uh, that di difficult to balance the game because they will just grind as much as they need and want and so on. But it's kind of, and it's also kind of like if I, if there's too much um, for the people that look more for a challenge, um, it's maybe if they are leveling up too fast and the characters get too strong then there is at some point no challenge but i hope that's something i will find out in the demo with the demo version anyway i talked a lot i think maybe i'm forgetting something that's quite possible um i think in the re result screen um i will do the experience points how much experience points you gained so like i said um, for defeating an enemy you will get full experience points for just being kind of uh, what i mean with defeating for dealing the finishing blow you get full um, experience points and everyone else gets uh, probably around 50% I'm not sure about the number yet I probably will go for 50% and then see how it is um, 
Well, that's in any way something that player has to think about um, because the experience point can be very, uh, they will be very useful to level up your characters more um, because there is a lot of stuff you need to use experience points. Like you, for learning new abilities, you need uh, you need experience points. Like I said, for leveling up your job level, you need experience points. Um, for leveling up, improving your equipment, you need experience points. Um, and so on and so forth. Um, so you see, you will need almost for everything in the uh, to improve your characters, you will need a little bit experience points. There are a couple of other stuff. There's some a little bit the training system that will. Um, I'm not sure how exactly I want to do this, but at these locations where you can progress and so on, uh, there will be the possibility to train. So what is with this uh, place is that you also recover your H. A. No, you want to recover your health. You want to do that, but you will re recover your energy because that these are. I call them resting places. So if you go there, you recover your energy, energy, and then you can this different stuff with upgrading and so on. Also, when you go, when you if, uh, are defeated in the battle, um, you have to you you will get sent back there. So what is you won't lose any experience points and things like that you gained in the combat. You will get the penalty. You will lose certain items. I don't want to go too much into that. Too. Oh, exactly. There's another thing you need. You, I need for the loot part, and that's the attribute buffs. So, the um, the attribute that ha um, that is the highest um, of the enemy you defeated, the one that has the highest number. Um, so I mean I have to figure out how I want to do it if two numbers have the same uh, are the same. Um, this for this attribute you will get uh, an attribute buff. So if the strength was the highest, you get the strength uh, attribute buff. And then you can choose the character that you want to give the strength attribute uh, buff, and then you will level up the strength uh, your strength attribute. Probably in exchange for some experience points. Um, probably, I'm not sure. Um, and these buffs, if you get defeated in combat, you will lose all these buffs you gained. That's definitely one penalty I will do. Maybe there is some other penalty, but other items and so on you you will keep. Um, you will everything you learned. During the combat, even the combat you defeated, you will keep. Um, you won't gain, of course, any experience points for them for, uh, for that fight. Uh, I don't think you will get the experience point penalty, simply because um, there it will be a certain management of experience points. Maybe for an ability that is very strong, you really need to gather a lot of experience points, and to do a penalty for that, it, it will be very for losing experience points. It, it can be very frustrating if you uh, spend a lot of time to gather these experience points, and you're very close to it, and then you get defeated and you lose a certain amount of experience points. I don't want to give, get there some kind of penalty. Um, anyway, I, I'm getting distracted quite a bit. So the result screen, experience points definitely, and then probably the um, attribute, how much attributes you leveled up. I think that's the most important part. Uh, and the rest, I guess I won't, won't do it right now. I probably will try it with kind of um, having some kind of pop-up system that there will a notification pop up. Hey, you leveled up this ability, and then you can maybe click on a button, and then you can look. What, uh, then the game will pause for a moment, and you can 
you kind of check what exactly happens and then you can close it or you can just ignore it and play further and then for all the stuff kind of for these tasks i told you i think the best thing would be just to have pop really popping pop-ups at the moment you will do these tasks um the question is if do i want to keep um how exactly i want to do this is this something that will stick on the interface until the player clicks it away or is this something that will just be there for a certain amount of time that's something i have to figure out uh yeah so but that's maybe not for today but then how long okay <laughs> the first hour i spent just talking a little bit about this but you see it's kind of like for me also for me to figure out what exactly do i want with the results screen what do i want to show uh in the results screen so i'm sorry that this was maybe uh, is maybe not too interesting uh yes yeah, so the only thing i have to figure out is how exact i mean the experience points won't be that problematic probably probably um it just mean uh, it just wonder how much information do i want to give do i want to give how much experience point you had and then how much you added plus how much you have now or do i want to kind of that's a question how much information i want to give how much do you need i mean kind of like how much how much you had is maybe not that interesting so but maybe it's interesting to know how much um, you gained in this combat and what is your the amount of experience points you have now. So maybe these two informations. Um, or maybe I will do all three information. The coolest thing would be if I had some possibilities to Yeah, maybe I have to think about that to kind of show the player the amount that uh, that it grows kind of having this uh, a little bit animated or anything like that that would be the coolest i'm not sure how to do that to be honest um and then the question is about, again how much information i want to give to the attribute levels um <clears throat> and also do i want to show just every attribute that would be the easiest for me probably it will take a moment to set it up, but um, that's the easiest way to set it up is to, just to show 27 attributes. Um, I rather have only show, showing the attributes that are that leveled up. How I exactly can do set this up? That's the question. That's the question. Um, the only thing I can think about is to have a little bit that elimination system. That's probably how I have to do it. So kind of like. Um, Yeah, and I mean, I, ha I still need 27. That sounds stupid, but I still need 27 slots. Um, because, I mean, you don't know, maybe a boss fight or anything like that um, is so difficult and you have to do so much st different stuff to defeat this boss um, that you really that it is maybe even possible that you level up um, all 27 of your attributes at least for one level but the elim elimination system i think about right now would be you have the first slot and then you look oh strength attribute is did this level up is this did this is this zero or higher than zero so zero would mean it doesn't it didn't level up and if it is yes, okay, we show it this in the first slot. If no, 
you go to the next attribute defense with this level up and then again yes no um, if no you go to the next attribute and so on um, and that's maybe quite a bit to set it up but we can try it we can try um let's go to work <laughs> i mean not that this is not work um as i said it before and um where do i want to put this combat character commands enemy images let's do it or character states um, yeah i can put it in anyway yeah i said this before so normally when i'm not streaming or anything like that i'm not talking to myself loudly but sometimes it's just really really helpful to say these things loud to go through this stuff loud and that's like i said not something i do normally um except for just live streams so i will call this result or oh, wait a moment let's call this p1 result actually no it's fine just have to think about we don't want this one here the result will really Yeah, this will, won't be a new widget, this will just replace the command widget. So that's something I have to think about. Um, so we have experience problems. Um, so what I need now, where do I put this? Um, to, 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 to. Points um, that progression. Do I have something like on, uh, play one specifics? Yes, what I have to do is kind of uh, before and then after. Um, I have so I mean, the after is not a problem, the after is um, that the, the thing we save. What I need is a before. Before we start the fight, I have to. Kind of check the, how much experience point has this character at this point um how much how high was the attribute level for this uh before we start the fight and things like that so <clears throat> event growth so what i was wondering is are we in attributes okay in here we right, right now we have only four wins. Okay. Just go ahead. Oh, that's not right. Damn it. This was so confusing. Right that's uh, something I, that's already the second character. It was like, God damn it. I don't have. This is only one attack. Where is the rest? Uh, did, I, did I lose something? Uh, okay, here. Um, it's about here. Well, maybe it's in the combat. <clears throat> or maybe I don't even need that before or after, to be honest. The experience point I don't need before. Um question will be maybe I can do this in the combat progression actually 
I guess I will even do it. I really will do it there. So we can forget about this one. It's maybe easier than I thought it will be uh, to set this up. Actually, because when you go in here in the combat progression, I can show you. We have here is we kind of define. Um, which attribute uh, is leveled up? So what I can do here. Okay, I mean it takes some because we have a lot here already. Um, plus the enemies. So yeah, I mean it will take a moment to set this up actually, but it won't be that big of a deal. I have the feeling this is all aura ween. Um, how did I sound one to me? Muscle player stamina attacks. But wait a moment. How exactly do I define which character it is? Because that's just sound one two. Attack number two. We have here enemy type. Yeah, that's something I don't even have in here right now. No way to run. Yeah, we have the enemy type, we have the attack number. We have to define the play. Why don't we define the player? Because we don't know if this is our win. Um, that's the problem right now. So I have to think about this. I have to change this. I'll probably do an extra event. Because here we define the character. And then it's clear it's Halloween. Um So this is this all this here is Halloween specific. Here it's enemy type specific, but the problem is um, I don't see anywhere that we just level up Halloween here. <laughs> yeah, so the question is how exactly I want to do this. Oh. I mean, he here it's still neutral, that's the thing. But then back here it's not neutral anymore, it's character specific. But anyway, um, I can add extra can add something extra here that every time we do strength plus we also add uh, you know we we just uh, say yeah this is plus, uh, strength plus one, just as a placeholder kind of, and then at the end we show, yeah, strength leveled up so many times. Uh. But the, the thing with the enemy is 
problem we have to define at some point which character do this before and then just repeat this command for the different characters oh, what exactly will I do this? I'm not sure yet so yeah and then experience points um, the question is a little bit how to define the and below where exactly do I define the experience points and who did the final below um, Um, I mean, I could do this in here, or I could even do this in the enemy, because here we have the attributes together. That's maybe even something we can do. Let's see. So, enemy level. Enemy 1 attribute, enemy 1 HP, enemy ability level, set armor, then we will also have a separate one for experience points. Let's, let's do this first. Um, let's go down here. Let's do a new event. Um, enemy one XP gain. Yeah. So what I need is Maybe in here. Um, let's do a new variable. Um, enemy one. Gain Let's change this into here, that's fine. And then we put this into the collection.
Why is it so laggy? Um, anyway, now I have to see me. Here. Um, correction. Da -da -da -da. Oh, I see. This is actually a number from the combat. Let me open up the level blueprint. Uh, question is, is this maybe simpler to set up in the somewhere in the combat blueprint? Um, problem is just what commands to use here. Save reload. That's fine. Just spawn. Um, combat blueprint reaction time. Yeah, I could do an extra command here. Um, skin selection. Skin selection. Oh, that's not. That's more. Not what we need. Then we have here enemy attributes, enemy level, enemy set, HP, energy. Okay. Character progression, then we come to the player. Yeah, I mean, I can set it in the combat blueprint. It would be easier to set it up there. Wait a moment. Can't set first the reaction time and then the enemy level and stuff. One enemy reaction. Yeah, this is a mistake here. Um, so I guess we don't need this one here. Um, I think it's better to do it in the combat blueprint. Combat blueprint is a little bit crazy cramped, but some blueprints will just be. Um, so yeah, that's just a little bit annoying part. Um, I mean, I maybe even have something I can use. Yep. Yeah, it's fine. It's pretty simple to put put it together. Actually, it's cool. Um, sorry, uh, da, da, da. so I don't need you. I will need you. Okay, the easiest thing would be copy paste this.
I mean it's the easiest way to set it up here so let's go a little bit to the back um, Actually, this doesn't have to be enemy one, just enemy one. This can just be all enemies. It's much simpler. Um, again, and then we just make a chain of events. <laughs> Come on. And then we just Put everything together. Um, yeah, so twenty seven. I wish there was a possibility to just say I want to add twenty seven things instead of. Every single one, absolutely, if it is so freaking slow. But as far as I know, in the moment, um, no, that's just adding a one pin. That would be really helpful if that was a possibility. But seriously, it and this to do this is so unbelievably slow, I don't know why. It makes it even more annoying to do twenty seven of this. I mean, that's just, that really can't. There has to be a possibility to just say, hey, I'm on a fucking 27 pins. Give me 27 pins instead of just doing it like this.
can see how much we have and um, probably not enough yet. Or can I just, you know, just select everything and say, hey, I want to add everything together, all these numbers. Nope. Nope. Nothing like this. Nothing that could make this a little bit easier. That also doesn't help if I just smash. So yeah, so the amount of experience points you gain, um, I mean, I think the amount is kind of more or less uh, fixed, except for maybe, may, uh, I mean, at least the full amount you get if you uh, do the finishing blow on the enemy, uh, I think that's more or less, that's this, uh, I don't think I will change this. Um, of course, what I can play around a little bit with is how much the, the other players get that didn't do the finishing blow. <clears throat> so like I said, for now I go for 50%, maybe I will go for a higher or lower number, I will see. Um, And then, of course, if there are like two or three enemies, uh, then we will calculate it for every single enemy, um, of course. So maybe you do a fin with one character, you do a finish only a finishing blow for one uh, for one of the enemies you encounter, and the other ones you only get fifty percent, and someone else did. The finishing blow for them, or maybe you the one that does for against every enemy the finishing blow. Um, that will differ the experience points. So, but kind of what I want to go with is how wor how much worth is one experience point. That's something I then have to balance, and that that's something I hopefully can kind of find out with the demo version <clears throat> I mean I have some numbers in my head um, but it's difficult to say if this is kind of like too much of a grind or if it's too easy to get this amount of experience points and so on so yeah <clears throat> That's ho hopefully something I can kind of narrow down with the demo version, at least narrow down. Because again, as it should be the people who spend more time with grinding and defeating enemies uh, should get a, of course, be um, definitely be rewarded for it. But it shouldn't be like... such a grind that um,
such a grind that you need so much experience point for just a, a very simple level uh, for just a very simple buff of your character um, then it's <coughs> it's also not very good you know um, it has to be a little bit exponential I, I have the feeling at the beginning it's easier and as more as you want to something to level up something as more as you you have to spend it's also kind of a little bit like how some of how the ability level works at the beginning it will be pretty fast to level up an ability and as further you want you go as hard it will be, will it be. Um, so I don't want a linear growth or anything like that um, should be explained why can't I add Is there something like a limit here? I don't believe this if, if this is really true. I mean it's possible because it's 25. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> You're serious? <laughs> You're serious? You you seriously put the limit for this stupid stupidest thing ever. It's really a limit for this. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean, I can't just add another. Why is there a limit? That, that blows my mind. Anyway, so we promote this to a variable. Um, uh, call this E one XP gain. <coughs> Okay. Um, let's put this here in a separate category. I think the code is just loot, and I will put everything. In. So we ha now we have to start to add uh, events for when the enemy's HP is low. Um, we probably have to do this in here because here enemy HP, enemy one HP, um, enemy position equals one enemy number one damage. Yeah. Um, um I'm thinking I'm thinking. I do it. I mean if the HP is zero, everything else is in, not important, I guess. The question is just if we destroy what is more important destroying the armor 
if we destroy the armor at the same time we destroy the uh, we are on the zero with the HP do we count the armor that's the question um, it is do we go completely truth with this event here or do we stop the event do we do a separate event in uh, here of the HP that looks if we are still over zero or are we already below zero um, or go to the end I mean what benefit do we have when we go to the end is if we destroy armor part then player still has the possibility to gain loot from that and possible and all the benefits do I wanna take away this from the play does this maybe I will just take it away because it is kinda like if we just attack uh, armored part or anything like that it does not really a lot of HP damage so you kinda have to calculate it so I guess I will just put this in here and I mean there will be events for when the energy is zero and things like that uh, not for the reaction time and an event for armor is zero kind of the feeling all oh, this stuff here is way too close because the armor thing will be more complicated than this we will probably have more than one armor um, it's possible that the enemy has more than one armor part I mean I mean not unlimited but couple okay so I will do an event um, custom Do I even want to? Yeah, so I mean, I will do keep this custom event. Um, let's call this victory question mark. Um, so We'll go back here. Um, a little bit more space. We'll add here a branch. After this, um. To a new one because I never trust this 100%. Um, and here we check if this is smaller or equal zero. Then, of course, we only go further if this is false. If this is true, we go to the victory. Question mark. No, we won't. Ah, uh, or do we? Yeah, this is victory question mark. Of course we won't. Um, then victory question mark will check um, so I only have an uh, enemy once HP right now um, that's the problem but again it will kinda check 
if everything is on the zero, uh, smaller than zero. So it actually calls um, instead of value zero. Otherwise, this could be problematic. Actually. Why is it so slow? This is already a little bit preparation for when we have more than one character, but kind of to that this makes sense. I kind of want to add um, a little bit more. I mean, right now I have maximum five enemies. Maybe I will just do it for five. Uh, at least the HP. Um, even if it's so fucking slow, I hate that. I just want to. Cat. I will keep everything in the same. I don't think this will be a, maybe I will forget it and this the worst thing that can happen is that I create a second variable. Uh, but I Probably will figure this out soon enough after I create. Um, anyway, let's compile this. This may take a moment. Uh, how long are we? Uh, yeah, that's okay. Um, spend a lot of time for just talking loudly what I want, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, this part, however, shouldn't be the most complicated part to be honest. The other one will be maybe more difficult. The one with the attribute level, the XP level. Should be fine. Actually I just realized something. Um Anyway, this may take a moment here to compile. Uh, I will take this chance to make take a minute 
break.
Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> so what I I forgot two things actually. Um, let's not forget to add here the XP gain. <clears throat> um, just just set this at the beginning. Actually, maybe we don't. Would maybe we don't even need to do this at the beginning. Actually, but now it's done. Um, it doesn't really matter. And then before we go to the victory, we have to set um, uh, uh, which player gets how much and stuff like that. Um, so this is this line is enemy position one. So enemy position two will get the separate line. Uh, that's ma that means we don't have to worry about that. Uh, what we have to worry about is which player. Of course, here we don't know which player. And the question is um, what I want to check while I compile it is I just want to be sure that everything is on zero on default. If it wasn't on zero on default, you would have a problem. Um, yeah, because then you would never win. Because an enemy that is not even there may, because the default value has an, is bigger than zero, um, we would never win because we can't kill this enemy because he isn't there. But um, we we still check for the victory uh, <clears throat> how much health this enemy has. So I will do here. Um, A little bit more. Uh, I will do play uh, how much player gains and so on. Uh, so yeah. So this will be. Let's just do for all three players. That's not such a big deal. Um, do this here. So we will set how much the player gains. Um. And I think we will put it together at the end of the win. Uh, I mean, put it together, then really add it to um, to the character how much XP he gains at the end um, after we won. I guess. <clears throat> Yes, I mean there is this question. Um, do I want to give if you have three enemies and you manage to de defeat the two enemies and then the third one um, defeats you? So like I said, there is not a like I said, there is not kind of death, uh, death or anything like that. Yes, so you don't die. You don't have. Uh, to start from a checkpoint or restart from a checkpoint or anything like that. You will get forced back to the last resting star. You will lose all the uh, bonus buffs you gained until this point you lost. Um, what can be a lot because you can only use them at resting points. Um, so you may you lose all this, you won't get the penalty for experience points. So the question is kinda, will I be so nice and give you the experience points for the two enemies you defeated in this battle? Or do I, or will you only get experience points if you manage to finish the battle? This will be a little bit the penalty, of course. Um, So I guess I will make the final 
yeah I think I will store it in here in this variables here um, at least as long as the battle is going and then I will uh, kind of what is the word I was looking for you know um, pay the XP out that's maybe not the right word pay the XP out at the for the specific character at the end um, so the so you will kind of have this penalty that when you lose a battle uh, that you don't get the experience points for any one you defeat uh, any enemy you defeated in this particular battle So we need uh, another event um, to, yeah, let's put this down here, before we go to the victory event actually, we need another one. And let's call this A1 No, we can't call it this We call it E1 loot course we could also then put in here kind of like um, the money you gain you would gain if you finish the battle and the item you you have the chance to loot from this specific enemy you can put this events also in here but probably this events I will do in a different blueprint um, Yeah, you have to maybe, maybe it's even, you know, maybe it's even better to do the whole loot thing in a separate blueprint. The, even the XP gain. Um, Uh, I'm thinking about it. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> yes. I guess. I guess that makes sense. Um. I have a new blueprint. Pack the blueprint loot. Let's throw this in here. Let's open this up. Um, that means I guess this free.
it has done to this um, blueprint here is already so filled up and um, it's quite possible that when we start to add more enemies and so on that no it's not quite possible it's fact that when we add more enemies to, uh, it will just be filled more so I like to kind of um, if possible separate different stuff it makes some events of course a little bit more complicated because we always have to get variables from different maps and things like eh, from different actors uh, actor blueprints and so on what is a little bit annoying but at the moment I feel this is almost Uh, it's easy to find stuff um, and things like that in the end. Okay. Let's make here custom. Oh, hello. Event that's enemy one loot. Then I still will keep the XP gain uh, for the enemy. The amount I will keep this in in the combat blueprint because it's a million times more annoying if I have to get all set 27 attributes from the combat blueprint in here so we can just create one variable it's much easier to do this in the combat blueprint where we already have all these variables and then just get one single variable in here i guess that, i hope that makes sense <clears throat> um let's do here combat blueprint and that's exactly what i do right now i get this variable in. Um, again, and then we create new variables here, and it's so much faster if I work in here. Uh, then in the other blueprint because it's so filled up already the other blueprint it slows it down extremely And we also need the player. Um, player position from here. So if this one is equal one, This one here. Um, just in here, and then we set this. Come on.
Then do similar things for P2, but now we divide this by two. Um, let's copy paste this here. Um, this will be player three. And then we can kinda take all this. Okay, this one's on the second time. Two, three. And actually, it's wrong. This is the third one, so it's one here. Here we take the second one. Here and. Okay, so that's already done for if I have a full, uh, all three players. And if I decide to do more than three players, I still can add stuff here. Um, that's at least for the experience points is to, to settle the experience points. And then there will be something for money um, that will be. Probably the money will just be defined by the enemy types. Um, how much you get. Um, probably, probably by the enemy type. And the loot you, uh, the or the loot you get, the item. Um, this will also define be defined by the enemy type. Plus, there will be a chance, so you won't have a hundred percent chance to get it. Like I said, there will be um, tasks you can finish to higher this chance, and maybe even get a different item. So for the demo version I will have to set up a completely different loot. Maybe I will do this even in a separate blueprint. Um, um, so this is only, so it will be only possible for the demo. Um, because, there are I because there are items that you, in the main game, in the full game, you will only gain it from 
uh, you can some items you will gain through doing things in the world talking to people maybe buying this stuff and so on and the whole world aspect will not be in the demo the demo will be the combat system plus the progression system um, so I have to give you the possibility to gain some items by only defeating uh, the same type of enemy over and over again so there I have to do a kind of special loot system so what I don't want is to just uh, give you everything for, after defeating one enemy what I kind of will do for the demo version is setting up a loot system that um, I mean if you defeat an enemy uh, and you go into to the next battle the enemy will be slightly stronger and I will put a loot system that um, common items um, of course will have a higher chance that you get them after combat rare items will be a lower chance and as stronger as the enemy gets as higher is the chance to get these rare items and of course there are items that are unique that you only get once and then there are items that you can kind of kind of um, that you know just feel the items that are how to say it um, that that will be used and you can stock them up again and so like health potions and things like that um, I can't find the word I'm looking for I know there is a word for that um, anyway that's kind of uh, the ID there for the demo version and then this will be um, a lot different in the main game because in the main game there will be, it will be more specific this enemy type will only give you this type of item if you defeat him um, there won't be a big mix up and then if you if you want another item then you have to find another enemy that um, that gives you this item <clears throat> and like I said in the demo version this will be more um, this will be completely different anyway uh, we have this here so Go down here a little bit more. This one here will be loot. Let's get the copy. <clears throat> And then here, um, what is that? Turn on the um, let's copy paste this. Why does this take so long? <clears throat> um, let's copy paste that again. I need one more. So here we check. We have five enemies. 
um, I mean even if we have one enemy we will just check is everyone's HP on zero if yes um, we won the battle and then uh, we will start the we will go to the result uh, screen or actually it's not screen it's just uh, going back to the character to looking at his victory pose and then seeing the numbers and so on And then we do here a branch. So if it falls, nothing happens. If true things will happen, we have to define them. Um, so maybe I will compile. Just takes a moment again. Anyway. Um, yeah. Now the question is, will I, will you gain in the demo version money? I could add some kind of little shop that gives you the option to buy potion and things like that. Um, <clears throat> but then I guess I will do the money more randomized to be honest I guess Okay, it's done. <clears throat> um, what else? Um, let's save just to be sure. Uh, let's go to the result. Let's define this. Um, or let's say how it, this will look like. Um, so you add the canvas.
Um, how much is this? Nine hundred sixty. Um, <clears throat> then we yeah, have here two images. Um, So left, right, top, zero, and bottom, right hundred. Maybe, maybe less. Right hundred fifty. You know what, 980. And this one here, left, right, bottom, and one, 100, no, that's right. Hmm, maybe this one is a little bit too small. We will see. Um, then we have here the frame. Oh, too many. Frame. You probably have to create a second frame for um, stuff like this here. Oh no, you know what? Let me leave it. Um, Actually, it's drawn as image. How does box look like? Same image. Um, if I have here image size, maybe I can here on fix um nine hundred sixty one hundred. Doesn't even change anything. Order. It's gone. Box. Save. None. Ah. No. I think I probably have to do a separate frame for things like this. Um. Let's keep it like this for now. So here I will add text. Um, probably two texts. Two or is one enough? No, it would be nice to have different colors, right? Um, so anyway. Guess. I mean, as far as I know, it can't you know, can't be too flexible. Uh, from the left, let's just take eighteen. From the top, twenty. From the right, we will see. From the bottom, one thousand. Um. Well. I mean, this will be kind of plus zero zero zero. Um, we do this yellow um, or golden. That's the amount you gain. <laughs> let's do let's put this more into the middle um, two hundred five hundred 
then first one will be um And it will just be a number. Um, something like that. Um, let's take blue, sky blue. And oh, you will be to the right somewhere. Uh, 20. No, here 20. Or oh, here 1. Thousand and then maybe here two hundred and from here five hundred. Yeah, difficult to say on um, if this is right, right? Um, and here we will, maybe we can bring this down a little bit and make this, this one here bigger. Um, it's definitely one. Um, yeah, maybe I can bring this one down a little bit and make it big. I just... Uh, let's just do it uh, now. Um, hmm. um. It's too much. Two hundred is too much. But when we maybe do one hundred fifty, one hundred fifty is probably right. Uh, then we can bring it one hundred thirty. So let's get here a little bit bigger numbers. Then uh, forty-eight, sixty, sixteen. Anyway, this text will put to the right. Move this one. It's the opposite. Uh, anyway, left um, 70. No, not set left 70, right 70. And left. Five hundred here, nine hundred fifty. Um, nine hundred fifty. 
you get a plus 400 you have a bit more 150 yeah I guess that is right these are quite a lot of numbers so <laughs> um, Yeah, anyway, yeah, I'm thinking about um, it's possible that we get pretty high numbers actually. Um, if we, but let's keep it like this for now. All right, let's think about this that problem another time. Yeah, so this is the widget we want, then we have here comma player one. Uh, and then here we had a number eight, which will be the result. Okay. Let's see what exactly which number are we looking for here. Command number player one. Wait. And that's from Combat Blueprint. Great. So let's go here. So if this is true, we will set this. Mm -mm. This one here. To number eight. And then let's just add for the other two players also. <clears throat> okay, that's the first thing we do. Uh, then the second thing we do is we change the camera position. Um, what do you need? Whole actor. <coughs>
Um, Number plate one. Good copy. And this is something like camera front or any, yeah, camera front. Um, and that's more or less it for now. Um, of course, we then want to go further with a little bit more, but I mean for now. Um, and then we have to make in the loot another event. Let me see. Um, you know, I just made a short break, but I will do another short break. Sorry, um, I have to do something. So maybe, we, yeah. I anyway have to see how far we can. I I was hoping we could do everything. It, that may be a little bit difficult to be honest, uh, because this is <laughs> still the more simpler part. Anyway, we'll take a short break, maybe, um, and then maybe we just go until the finish break. Uh, maybe another hour, 90 minutes, I will see how much. And if we're not finished, I will, of course, continue this tomorrow. Maybe it's even better to set the, all the stuff up tomorrow, because I, it seems like I need to do some preparation. But yeah, I'm back in a, in a moment.
sorry about this longer break here. Um, yeah, I guess I will now chat. Maybe an hour, maybe 90 minutes, something like this. Going on, I'm trying to finish as, as much as possible in this stream. So let's kind of stop moving around here. Um, <clears throat> let's think what do I need here? Another loot event. Um, let's call this victory. Um, I'm just thinking what, um, sorry, combat progression, no, no, play, character progression is probably the name, character pro progression blueprint, uh, it's, I guess this is the one I need, I'm not even sure, um, no, <laughs> is it combat blueprint? Cara uh, ah, character number. No, that's the general. Command number. Play, play position. That's a general character number. Ah, that's not. I know. That's actually in the safe. Because that's something we save. Uh, because we set up the team outside of combat, so we save kind of the positions. Um. Save to slot. Um, what's the name? I don't know. Uh, player combat number. Is it player combat number? What do I have on the character? Nothing. Then it's player combat number. And if this one is... Equal one. Then we will set um, Arrowing's experience points And we of course set this um, 
So at this point we now give the experience points to the right character. Yeah, and that's actually everything we can do at the moment. Of course, here we get mo we will add more stuff later on. Um, but first, we will just use it as for the experience points to Um <coughs> da, 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 so we have to go to the widget actually. Um, um this one here. So here we will um find this number Format a sh short text here because we want to have the plus plus here and this will be the root ah of course a reference to root just root. Um, what is it called? P1 XP game. I'm kind of forgettable right now, I don't know why. So, this is so difficult right now. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that's actually just a number we want to have um, at this point. And then. The second thing you have to change is this one here, and this will be just um, Irene's experience points. Uh, so we have to reference to our save. Uh, you know what? I um, guess it's easier to paste this. Then we will get here our experience points, experience points. This one in here. Um, actually, wait a moment. Um, it was a little bit too easy. Huh? Here, combat number one. Thank <laughs> you. 
make an array. Set this one in here. That should be fine. Um, sh shall we try to defeat the enemy and test this? Um, that's maybe the best thing to do now. Choose some heavy hitting attacks here. This should be should do a lot of damage. He has quite a lot of health. Uh, that's because I had to level him up, right? Um, anyway, twenty-one. How much is that? Mm -hmm. but that fifty-one didn't do. So much damage is a little bit worrisome. Maybe I have to a little bit. Um, oh, we did a counter. That's something you have to um, do better to counters. Um, is there a better attack? I don't think so. Problem is that this one takes a long time. I think I have to. A little bit balance the health of the enemy a little bit better. Uh, maybe a little bit over 200. This is low. Maybe it's okay. The only problem is that the uh, time for the next turn is quite a bit. And then maybe I have to do it him even stronger because uh, because we learn so many <clears throat> and then probably two more attacks. I'm thinking about this a special skill uh, more effective, but I guess not. Yeah, because at some point may, uh, we don't learn any more attribute points. Um, that's maybe the problem. But if I use only one attack and then use different types of attack the next time when we have the attributes set up, then it should be possible without having to level up the enemy more or, short, or, or otherwise I just level him up a little bit more. So we did a critical. Still need one more to see if it works. The problem is if it doesn't work, then this was all for nothing here. I mean of course I can at some point set everything to zero, but that would be actually more troublesome than just level up the enemy at this point. Why is miss higher than counter? Something. And counter happens way too much We are. We have to counter. It's a low level thing. Oh, that happens too fast. It happened too fast, so it didn't work. Shit. Too fast. We have to finish everything. Huh? And it didn't. Anyway, did a lot. A lot didn't work. Huh? Um, Um, here, if I take the no, it's P1 result. So, victory part here. 
this is true, we have to add a delay. Um, not here. Um, sorry. Um, Um, how much? Maybe five seconds is too much. Um, also I have to pause the game. Um. I mean, the problem is, yeah, it's five seconds too much because this is in the. No, let's 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 just to be sure five seconds and we will see if there is a problem. Um, let's buff the health of the enemy so we can defeat him a little bit faster. Mm. Um, this is enough to build this. Uh, is it in here? Strength HP max hundred twenty. Let's put this down to ten. Um, still should be quite a lot. Um, where do we enemy level? Here. Um, come on. Come on. Um, yeah, let's try. Like, I'm not sure. Um, where we set the any the HP marks probably somewhere here. I'm not sure. Um, the question is, no, actually, somewhere here. Yeah. No, that's just abilities. Uh, where do I... Ah, with the attributes, so I can't really do anything here. I have to leave. So we will probably have... When we had something two, uh, over 200, maybe 250, and then we should have now health of around 
140 or something, maybe. Uh, because the health is so much, so strongly connected with the attribute level. And like I said, I had to push up the attribute level um, for testing of the enemy. So I guess at the moment I can't bring it more down. But let's try it again and see what happens. Um, Oh my god, why? Worked fine before, now you have such troubles. Come on. Of course we miss. Um, it's fine. No, we didn't miss. That's this one bug I don't really understand. Why this happens? He also missed. Did the critical miss? What does that even mean? Um, yeah, with the there are a couple of problems here. With there. Um, to expect at this stage maybe so we did our damage and we are a lot more effective than before we still have it is even a block <sighs> this stuff is way too powerful um, I have to Lower the chances uh, for this stuff. I mean, of course, you won't have these abilities from the beginning. You have to learn these abilities. But still, at the moment, he is absolutely why critical. I will keep it with this one attack for now. Uh, We are not finished yet. Now, this should, if we don't miss, this should be the finishing move. It's not, it's not working with the whole... But I put 5 seconds in. I put 5... How much more time do I need? The problem is... Probably... Uh, <coughs> I have to find a point where we have to stop um, the cycle, the sequence of the attack. That's the problem. Uh, or five seconds was not enough. Um, Yeah, so the problem is so I can try with more time because here is a delay of two seconds damage Richard enemy and th this is before this two seconds um
Um, yeah, kind <laughs> Should I just try with the time um, instead of kind of play around here? Um, I don't know about the time. I don't know why the time didn't work. It should be. It didn't feel like it was longer than we did it before. That's a little bit the problem here. Um, so I don't think that we. It will help much to change the. Visibility. Maybe it's just this zero point two seconds here. Um, action time call. Yeah, I will put a little bit more. Just try it one more time with the duration here.
Um, okay. course we missed <laughs> Stuff is way too powerful. Why is this? It shouldn't be such a high chance. Why do I don't take any health damage? God damn it, so many problems. I think I have to. See, he doesn't take. Uh, why does do you don't take any health damage? At the moment, what's wrong again? But the camera didn't work. We paused, but the camera didn't change. Um, still too many problems here. So maybe this. Oh, can't we? No, we should. It shouldn't be problem. Pause is not pausing the complete game. It's just pausing the time.
I don't really know what to do here. Because we change the camera later. Why this is still... Why, why this doesn't work? I mean, the pause works. Wait, front. No, front is the right one. What's going on? Camera. That's the right one. So I have to. <clears throat> I have to do an extra command, maybe that works, to stop everything. Um, No, not when it's true. Don't want anything. Pause. Um, let's try this. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, <sighs> Let's try this. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit distracted. I know. Um.
Okay, let's try this again. Uh, you kind of realize that I probably will, if it works or not, I will probably end the stream after this and kind of have to find out what's going wrong here. But uh, anyway, not for that, I have to be more focused than I am right now. So. So this time he takes, I don't know why it didn't work before, maybe it was something with the block that bugged, maybe the block didn't disappear completely, so not, otherwise I would have seen it. Ah, uh, that drift account does not work at the moment. Um, you have to see. I don't even know, maybe I don't, will not. However, the counter takes so much time, sucks so much time out of the reaction. Time, um... Is that the counter? It shouldn't, shouldn't be possible for him to make a counter. Um, is he not dead yet? Okay. Something went wrong. Yeah. So let's see what happens now. The camera doesn't change. I think this is the right. No, this is not the right one. It's not even the right one. Okay, that's not, that's actually not a problem. That's a mistake. Why right, the camera not ch is is not changing? That's something I don't understand. Um, yeah, let's stop it here. I have to figure this out. Maybe I have a solution tomorrow, um, or we do something else. No, I, I, not, no, I know why this doesn't work. Um, I forgot to add the command. Uh, why the camera change doesn't work. Um, I mean, it is the front camera. Because front, seeing him from the front. Why this doesn't work? Um, it's annoying right now. Come on, front. The problem. Ah! I have it. 
I have it. Um, yeah, yeah, I know, I know the problem. Um, so what I have to do here is um, add here. Uh, what is the name of this? Oh. <laughs> uh, I think something like set commands. Set command widget, okay. And then is this in the. This is the problem here. Because um, we have the camera at the front, but we don't look through this camera. Camera setting, this is from the combat blueprint, perfect. Um, camera setting. Try this one more time. Ah, <clears throat> oh, wait, 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 wait. It's not sim zero, right? Um, I should maybe check before and which camera we are talking about. Camera one, what's the four here? That's enemy, enemy one blueprint. What's that? Which camera is this here? Enemies combat, enemy one blueprint. Oh, but we have this. Okay, something, something. No, it should be one. Um, Okay, sorry about that. Got a little bit too excited because I realized what was ro going wrong here. Um, oh, maybe I should change the delay.
course we miss. Come on. One more hit. Possibly we die before him, um, but there is no death uh, event, so it shouldn't be a problem.
Come on! But that should be, could be enough. Let's see what happens. No, it wasn't enough. Still has a little bit. Unbelievable! <laughs> what bad luck in this last fight here. Uh, That should be enough now. Fine, it doesn't work, but fine. Why does it not work? Why is zero zero? But at least we came this far, and I guess we we can stop here. Um, for today, yeah, today was a little bit chaotic. I'm sorry about that. Um. So I will see what I can do. I want to do tomorrow another long live stream. Um, I don't know why the numbers didn't jump up here. Are the right numbers? Um, Uh, the problem could be, I mean, this one here is default zero, that this part didn't work correctly here. But there's something went wrong. Um, that's maybe something I just can look into right now. Um, it's on the safe. God damn it, man. Uh, so slow today. Come on. Um. Anyway, is it player location? Player numbers. Play combat number. No, it's one. Combat one. Number one. Yeah, I have. To, I have to check what's what went wrong. Player combat number one here. Um. Player position one. Seems like this one didn't really work. Uh, 
Yeah, I have to look into. Uh, at least that's what I guess what the problem is. Are you fucking kidding me? I have to do another fight. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Not a good day. Um, and Restream seems to have broken down. Why is there always a little bit health left? God damn it. Or is there? That's maybe something I check I have to check. Maybe there is something. Okay, let's see. Plus 26, now this didn't work, but this worked. Um, only 26? That's not possible. Should be more. Anyway, I will stop here. I have to figure this out.
what's going on wrong here exactly. Um, yeah, I don't know what the problem is. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. I will end the stream here. Um, this was a little bit cha chaotic at the end. Um, I will see it, what I can do until tomorrow, too. Uh, or if I even will do a stream tomorrow. Um, as it is now, it seems like I have to figure out a couple of stuff before going further. But I don't know if I find the time. To be honest. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, see you soon.